<laughs> oh! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, who's grown up to be so big around Russia. here? Russia. 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 And who's two years old today? Russia. Russia. Oh, you're my darling. Dad, be careful. You'll drop her. Don't worry, Sasha. You were flying like this when you were small, too, and you liked it. <laughs> and yeah. here's the oh. birthday cake! Yeah. Yeah. Another year! Oh, hey. The cake is here! Happy. Dennis, film it. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, I guess okay, I Okay, now, happy family, let's stand around the cake together and joyfully blow out the candles. One, two, uh, two and three! three. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good girl. Oh, congratulations, hooray. <laughs> oh, I've completely forgotten. Completely forgotten, Dasha. Look at this. Ah, what a beauty you are. Wow, yeah, Igor, you're beautiful. spoiling her. Come on, aren't I allowed to give a gift to my sweetheart? I like Mwah. it. And since I have two sweethearts in my life, Oh. As the saying goes, each sister How should receive beautiful. a gift. What is it made of? It's of extraterrestrial origin, a unique metal. It passes unscathed through fire and flood. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Dennis, look, do you like it? Yeah. Hmm? Well, so as long as I have no look. family yet. No, until I have one. They Before match. that happens, that I'll be giving you gifts, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Olga, don't be sad. Try to smile. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Friends, let's have some cake. Here you are, everyone. Yes. yes. Us. Memory the Heart, Part One. She's fallen asleep at last. We've lived together for so many years, but I still can't take my eyes off you. Stop it, Alexei. You'll overpraise me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lucky you're my wife. You're smart and so beautiful. You gave me wonderful girls, a faithful wife and a friend. How did I deserve all of this? No. I don't know how I deserve to have you. You and the girls are the most important things in my life. I'm ready to die for you. You can't say things like that. We should live and try to be happy. Alexei, is something wrong? The alarm went off. Nothing serious. Don't worry about it. Good night, darling. Okay, good night. <clears throat> Yesterday he called again. Offered to discuss it with you. I told him to go to hell. We should call the authorities. What's the point then? Nothing concrete. No threats, no blackmail. He's polite and intelligent. Give me your business and then you're free. Why should I? We raised our business from scratch and we should give a ready-made network to them. Maybe we can pay them off. There's no spare cash now. I've even pledged my house. We wanted to expand. 
Actually, why do we have to pay some gangsters? Mr. Corneille. Corneille is speaking. Good afternoon, Mr. Corneille. It's a fair deal. I'm asking you to do as I say. I hope that you're an intelligent person and understand that it's better to settle it amicably. You have a family, children, after all, and I... <laughs> Please sit down, eat properly. I'm already late. What do you mean I'm late? I say eat properly. Your Sasha won't go anywhere. Why are you running after her? She's a princess. She's even unlikely to know how to cook. Mom, are you starting this again? What, Mom? You should get someone real, okay? Please, have at least one bite. Mm. Now, I said one mm, bite. I don't want to. What can you give her? She's out of your league. They live in palaces. And you live in this little flat. You'll be in the army soon. You'll be called up any day. Have one bite, I said. Do you think Sasha will wait for you? She will. Mm-hmm. Maybe in your dreams. They probably already found a rich fiancé for her. You know, money draws money. I'll earn money. I'll return from the army. Don't worry. I'll build a house. Mm -hmm. I'll buy a car. I'll be fine. Don't worry. <clears throat> It'll take some time. And by then she'll be gone. Why do we need her? We couldn't provide well enough for her. Thank you, Mom. I'll see you soon. See you. <laughs> come on in, Dennis. Have dinner with us. Uh, no, thanks. I've already... Come in, come in. Don't be shy. Look, we have a guest. Dennis. Yeah? <laughs> Let's go have dinner, shall we? Come on. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. That's great. Why are you so gloomy? I got my draft notice. But so soon? Mm hmm Dennis, maybe we could think of something. Defer from service somehow, huh? Mm, I don't have any money for that. And I don't want to. I'll go and serve. What about me? Well, you said you'd wait for me, didn't you? Yes, Dennis, but two years. I've almost lost my mind in one day. Hi, guys. <sighs> Papa, Pa, listen, we really need your help with something. Did someone hurt you? No, it's for Dennis. Sasha. Hold on a second. Pa, you can help. You have money. Dennis just received his draft notice. Sasha, stop it, please. Sasha, let's discuss it later. I'm busy. You never have time, and the problem is happening right now. Dennis, tell him, huh? Do you like humiliating me? Who do you take me for? Dennis, please. I mean the best. I'll do fine without charity. Dennis! You did that on purpose, Dad! Dad, are you trying to take Dennis down a few notches? I'll be with him anyway, even if you forbid me. Sasha, cool down. When did I forbid you to see Dennis? And if you love that man, you'll wait for him to return. And what if something happens to him? Everything will be fine. Don't get worked up. While he is serving, you will go to school and start helping me in the business. You don't really love me. And you don't love anyone except your damn business. Stop it now. My business puts food on our table. The most important thing for me is my family, and you know it. Well, your Dennis is. He's a strong, healthy man. Let him serve. You're all hysterical because you aren't sure of your feelings. The army will test them. Shall we feed the little bird? <laughs> eat, little bird. And eat, Dasha. Well done. Yes. Here's your dad. Hi. Yes. Yes. My girls, I must head off to work. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. All right. Bye-bye. Ah. OK. Well, eat, da -da. little bird. Da -da. Mm. Peace, up. peace, and no more fights. Da -da. Don't want to. No more for bird. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes. Now yeah, we'll see. No. Okay. Yeah. Goodbye. All right, bye. Say, Dad, goodbye. You're my sweetie. Say goodbye. Wave your hand. Bye bye. bye Wave. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Huh? See you. Say, Sasha, okay? Say, why are you like this with Dad? He didn't mean to hurt you, did he? Hmm? He didn't mean to, but he did. Mm. Say, you should, Sasha. Make peace with the Daddy. Yeah, Daddy is very upset now, isn't he? I'm not forgiving him. No! Don't count on it. I like this book. Hmm. Oh! <gasps> what do we have here? A little horse. I have no idea. Who could have been attacking you? Do you say the police didn't take it seriously? Well, you know how they are. If there's no body, there's no case. Mm. We don't want to bring the situation to extremes. I understand. Mr. Illion, maybe we could file a claim with your office. I mean, you're an investigator with the prosecutor's office. I will. That's no problem. Please write it down. But I don't think that these raiders will turn to real actions. Hmm. Let's not whip it up just yet. I'll gather some information in the meantime through some of my channels. Alexi, don't choose words so carefully. Write it as it is. Don't ask to give it up, but threaten to take it. Am I right, Mr. Ilian? Yes. Both of you should sign this claim. Thank you for your time, sir. That's my job. Goodbye. Goodbye. <sighs> Sasha. Do your parents mind me coming over here to see you? No, of course not. They're wonderful. And they really like you very much. Yeah, honestly, I really hope they do. You know, Dennis, hmm? I actually start missing you the very minute you step around the corner. Sasha, dear, come on, you know I miss you too. I used to count hours before seeing you, but nowadays I only count minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really don't want to overstay my welcome here. Oh. Wait a second. Just, just a second. What? A second. Oh, one second. A second. I have a special gift for you. Sasha, please, what gift? Please, you really shouldn't spend your money on me. Please, look, it's just a small gift. You see? You'll drink your tea from it. And I know that you're going to think of me. Sasha, you know I'll always think of you without any gifts. <sighs> I have to go. Don't do this again. Okay. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Dennis! I'll see you. See you. <laughs> Don't worry, Alexi. He's very professional. I've heard a lot about him. I sure hope so. Are you calling Olga? Tell her I say hello. No, I'm not. I'm calling Andre. We used to be close friends. And then he left for Moscow. Uh, is that the one who's working at the ministry? Yes. Hello, Andre. Hello, Korneyev speaking. Remember me? I'm glad too. How are you? I heard you become a big man. Congratulations, you deserved it. Problems, to be honest. That's exactly why I'm calling you. I have a favor to ask. Um, 
Could you put my girls up? You're talking about the Moscow suburbs? Even better. That's terrific. Yes, okay. Then I'll buy tickets for them for Saturday? Thank you, bro. Hugs, thank you so much. The right decision, Alexei. And we will fight with you here. <laughs> Dennis! <laughs> what are you doing here? Good evening, Auntie Oksana. Can you get Dennis for me, please? He's asleep. So early? Oh, come on! Sasha, I've told you, he's asleep. <gasps> hey, Dennis! What is it? Come out here. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Let's go. Where to? I'll tell you later. Let's go. But where? <sighs> Couldn't we talk at home? <sighs> Not really. <sighs> well... doing I want you to know how much I love you Why are you sitting there? Let's go. My God, who are you? Olga, calm down. Listen to me. I'll give up the shops, the house, everything I have. Tell them that I agree. Just don't touch my family. Ah! 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 Don't you love me, Dennis? I do. Very, very much. You can't imagine how much. Sit down, next to me. I don't want it like this. Let's wait till I get out of the army. Then we'll have a real wedding. We're gonna do it properly, and then we can... But why not do it now? I just want you to know how much I love you, and that I'm only with I you. I know that. I know. I know. I believe you. Let's wait a little longer. Let's go. I'd better see you to your house. You're already cold. My future little wife. Hmm? <laughs> Let's go. Dennis, there's something bad going on. 
Wait, wait up! Dennis! Stop, stop! Don't You're Sasha! Burn. Stop! Stop! Uh, are you crazy? Come on, it's burning uh, my up! Mom stop! And Dad and sister! Sasha, don't! No, you stop, can't stop. go in! Mom! Dad! <laughs> Sasha! Hold on, Sasha. You just need some time. Please accept my condolences, my dear. The day before your dad died, he called me to have you stay in Moscow. I didn't know that. I must go to the airport. Here's my business card with my contacts. When you're in Moscow, come and see me. Now be strong. Thank you very much. You'll stay with us for a while. Why not? We can feed just one more. Anyway, I'm going to the army soon. Mom will take care of you, and I'll come to visit when I have leave, okay? Doesn't she have other relatives who she could stay with? Mom! Can't I at least ask? <sighs> Igor Mikhailov offered me his place. He's not related, but Dad's a partner. Well, then, of course, why should a young girl live with an adult man? <sighs> You'll stay with us. We'll take care of you. Have you managed to save any property? Mom, I told you the house burned to the ground. So then we'll have to buy her new things. It's autumn, then winter. She'll need a lot of new things. Please don't worry. Dad had money in the bank. I won't be a freeloader. Alexei was going to expand the business, so he bet the house. The house burned down, and now the bank demands the loan payment. The insurance has covered the loan, but there's no money left now. So now what happens? Don't worry too much. I'll sell the business. That will be enough to pay off all of the debts. What about you? I'll start something else. I won't be able to work there anyway. Sasha, please eat something. I don't want to. What do you want, then? I want to go back in time. I understand. But you have to learn how to live without them somehow. Maybe you should move in with me. I'll hire you a nanny. A driver will take you to school and everything. Why put up with Dennis's mother? Well, I'm not going to. I'll see Dennis off and then go to Moscow. To Moscow? I can't stay here. <sighs> Wherever I go, everything reminds me. Everything. Time does heal. Someday you'll understand this. You'll step over it and start a new life. How do you know that? You don't love anyone. You've never lost anyone.
Sash! Sasha! Sa... Sasha, what happened to you? Sasha, are you okay? Sasha, you... you what is it, Sash? Where have you been, huh? What happened to you? I went home. Did you go to torture yourself? Sasha. I went to find the pendant. What pendant? Don't you remember Mr. Mikhailov gave Dasha and me those necklaces? He said then that they wouldn't burn in a fire. But Sasha, come on, it was just a manner of speaking. What's going on with you, honestly? What if it's true, though? You see, this could mean that she might... What? Maybe Dasha is alive. All right. Let's go. Just don't worry. Come on. Let's go, just... Come on, let's go. I've already called everyone to find you. Now let me wash you up. You didn't even say where you were going. Why did you do this? I was dead worried about you. Come here. Come here. Tilt your head. Easy, easy. Good, good, good. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Uh-huh. Okay, 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 okay. That's it, Sasha. Miracles never happen. I think it's time to put up with it. Do you hear me? I have absolutely nothing left now. I'm not even a tiny photo. Easy, 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 easy. Shh, 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 I understand it's a terrible tragedy. But we have to keep living, Sasha. You must study. How will you get a good job without a degree? You'll start to study. You'll get interested in life again. Then maybe you'll enter university and you'll earn some money. Since you don't have any of your father's money left, there's no one to count on. And you don't have time to sit Mama, around. Mama, I think I've already told you. Please leave Sasha alone. What does she want? Just ask her. I'm not going to study anymore. Then go and work. Ask Mr. Mihailov. He won't say no to you. I'm sure of it. Leave her alone. Mom, she shouldn't work. What will we live on? Your fiancé is poor. You're entering the army. I simply can't support her on my own. I can't believe you're leaving for two years. Please don't think about it. Imagine I just came back. <laughs> I'll buy a calendar and cross out the days. Maybe you'll stay after all. What are you going to do in Moscow? I have no reason to stay here. You have Andrea Zorsky's address. Will you write to me? Of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dennis, mm. I don't want to wait any longer. Wait, Sasha. Wait, hold on. Are you sure? I'm sure. I'm positive.
The fast train Nizhnedinsk Moscow leaves in five minutes from the first track. Numbering of wagons from the end of the train. Will you please call me when you get there? If you need anything, money, don't hesitate to call. Thank you. I'm really sorry for that fit. Never mind then. It's totally okay. <laughs> ah. When I made it, I forgot to give it to you. Then everything happened. But here is your memory. There's a cassette, too. Uh, all together. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Thank you. You really have no idea what you've done for me. I thought that I had nothing at all left to live for. Thank you. I should go. Hello there. Hello. Can I help you? Uh, does Mr. Andre Zorsky live here? Ah, uh, that's not me. What a pity. Uh, so does he live here or not then? Hey, Mom, we have guests. Good afternoon. My name's Sasha Korneyev. Ah, uh, good afternoon. Mr. Izorsky said that if I was passing by, I could stop by and see him for some help. Well, that's great, but he's not at home. You can leave your contacts, though, and I'll have him contact you. Uh... The fact is that I just arrived by train hey, why and... why are we standing in the doorway, huh? Sasha, right? Come on. Come uh, on, my mom's gonna give you something to eat and I'll entertain you with a lively conversation, all right? Let's go. I'm Irina Izorskaya, and this is my son, Igor. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry I didn't call ahead. Maybe it's not a good time? It's okay. My husband will be back soon and we can have dinner. Uh, and while we're waiting, let's, uh, let's have some tea, okay? Or something stronger? Hmm? Yeah, Mom? Igor will show you to the restroom. Here, let me help you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Mr. Zorsky. Sasha? Hi, Andre. Good afternoon. Remember you told me to come when I arrived in Moscow? Mm. Yes, yes, of course. Um, so unexpected. But I'm glad, I'm glad. Why did you invite her here? 
Arena, dear, I didn't invite her. Well, I said that pro forma. Well, who knew that she would take it literally? You did the right thing saying that. You can tell for sure that this is a well-managed girl. I'd be happy to support her. To support? No one asks you about that. Thank you. You're welcome. Why do we need problems with Polina's family? Sasha got here today, but we'll leave tomorrow. But your fiancé will stay here forever. Mom, but what kind of people are we? If she came, then she obviously <sighs> needs help. Well, the situation is idiotic. She's counting on me, but I don't know how to help her. I need to contact someone. Well, in fact, I think her parents were murdered. Don't think about it, Andre. You shouldn't get involved in some murky case. How do you know what it was like there anyway? Well, 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 we'll let her stay here for a while, pull herself together, and then I'll just say that I wasn't able to help her out with it. Yes. <laughs> what does yes mean? Sasha. This is a very bad situation. Please listen. Well, that's okay. Well, don't you even know your own son? Well, in the end, he's decided to play a night just to spite us. Please calm down. He'll never leave his Polina for this poor orphan. It'll be fine. I know it will. <laughs> okay. Where's my future son-in-law? I wanted to offer him a small but highly promising position in my company. Mm. Uh, your future son-in-law is studying at the library. I mean, he never comes home. <laughs> yes, you know, he's trying to be top of his class. Paulina, don't be too angry with him. The fact is, he's working toward your great future. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I knew he wouldn't be here. He warned me that he was going to the library. Just like yesterday, the day before, and probably tomorrow. That's great. Let him study. No. I need professionals in my business. When he starts working for me, he'll advance very quickly. Oh, he dreams about it. Cheers. <laughs> dreams are useful. Dreams can come true. Ah. Mm. <sighs> And by the way, Oleg, listen, I've talked to the minister with regard to our common issue. <gasps> Let's not talk business. Let's just go and have our dinner. Yes, yes. Come in. Here you are. <sighs> Please sit down. Sit down. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah! My goodness, we didn't know what to say. I warned you to be home by dinner time. Why did you lie to Paulina about the library Mom, again? Well, everything's fine, okay? Not offensive, but extensive. Thanks to Sasha, I've walked around Moscow up and down. Thank you, Igor. You're probably spending too much time on me. Please, everything's fine. Anytime, sweetie. You probably shouldn't give Sasha any promises. She didn't come here for this, did she? Uh, uh, yes, Sasha. You know, I want to tell you, I found out why the investigation was finished. The fact is that they found no traces, no witnesses, they have no clues. As of now, it remains an unsolved case. There are many unsolved crimes. They'll probably never solve this one. Sasha, you should accept it. Go back home, live a real life. In the end, sooner or later, you'll have your own family and you'll be happy again. Yes. <clears throat> 
Excuse me. Sa Sasha. Mom, what are you doing, huh? You're a woman after all. You must be able to sympathize, right? She's acting like a monster. Don't you talk to your mother like that. Think about your fiance, Greenhorn. That's none of your business at all. You're nobody to me. You are nobody to me. Is that perfectly clear to you? I don't give a damn about your are interest you in your fiance. Are you out of your mind? Come here, Molina you will idiot. provide you with a glittering future. She and her father, they love you. What do you think, do you think you're, you're doing? doing huh? Whose happiness are you arranging? Mine or yours? Tell me. Your career is at stake. Do you understand? And you're wasting your time with some poor girl. But I like Sasha. Sasha, I like you. Like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, if you want to know, I'm a moron and an idiot, and I don't care what both of you think I should do, okay? Enough! Let's have supper. <laughs> Igor, invite her. You're Sasha. Andre, we must I do will. something. We must somehow get rid of Sasha. How should I get rid of her? Kick her out? I'll hint to her that it's time to go. Please do. Sasha's packed her things and she left. Ah, she's smarter than I thought she well, was. Well, that's good. And where will she go? She's all alone. We shouldn't worry about her. We should think about our own. Uh-huh. And you're this... Like his... Well, her... Her father's friend, Look, right? that isn't any of your business. Stop mucking around. Let's prepare for the wedding. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. You will love and respect her family if you want to go on living the way you were used to. You know what, Mom? How about I arrange my own life on my own? Listen to me, you little greenhorn. While you live in my house and while you eat my bread, you will do as I say, is that clear? You will live by my rules and marry her. Well, frankly speaking, I don't even know if we can take on such a young person. Well, okay, come in the morning, we'll see. Mm-hmm. Could you tell me, please, whether I can maybe spend the night somewhere inside here? Hello? Hello, Auntie Oksana. Good evening, this is Sasha. Good evening. What do you want? Uh, tell me, please, how is Dennis doing? He's okay. He's in the army. Uh-huh. You know, I write him, right? But he doesn't answer. I wanted to ask you... Well, I've rented an apartment, and could you give him my new address when you hear from him? But why does Dennis need it? Well, 
Why wouldn't he? We love each other. You know he's met a girl, and they're doing fine. They'll probably get married soon. So don't call here anymore. There's no use. <laughs> oh, hold on, Auntie Oksana. Let him tell me this. Uh, how can I go to him? You're not going anywhere. Right now, he's serving in a secret military base. And what do you want to tell him? I just want to talk. Uh-huh. You don't have any self-respect? Don't be needy. Live your own life. Auntie Ak And don't bother Dennis. <laughs> well, what did your parents say when you refused to get married? They were screaming. Andre threatened to kick me out. And I said that I'd leave myself. You know, it's pretty great that I saw you. It's a sign, right? What sign is that? Well, uh, that we should be together. Your parents would be against it. Anyway, Igor, you're kind, nice, but... Right, but you don't love me. It's okay. But just give me a chance. Okay? Let's go. And where's your mom and dad? My parents are in the summer house. They're coming back on Monday, so we're all alone tonight. To tell the truth, I didn't expect this. We've had enough of walking around the streets. We are adults, and as you don't invite me to your place, I've invited you to mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one second, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> all in all, I've already decided everything. And... Well, I, I wanted to ask you if you would marry me. Igor... Wait, 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 let me tell you first. If you're with me, you'll never be unhappy, okay? Uh, my, my parents will understand everything because, well, they're parents. And because they love me, right? Uh, uh, just a sec. Hey, you know what? So, good. Uh, usually, I, I would have uh, given you a ring first, but uh, I think that uh, earrings aren't too bad either. <laughs> oh, they're very beautiful. They're from the 19th century. They're diamonds. May I? Okay. 
here you go. There. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll yeah, help. Yeah. I'll help. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Uh, yeah. I just want you to be happy always. You're never gonna regret choosing me for your husband, okay? For some reason, I believe you. Yes, I will marry you. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, I'm trying to find number 16 on Granite Naya Street. Here's number 12 and 14, but I can't seem to find 16. You can try looking inside the courtyard. In the courtyard? Yes! Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Where are you running? It's faster through the arch. Oh, right. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're in such a big rush. It is. I want to see my <laughs> sweetheart. <laughs> Good morning, Mom and Dad. <laughs> uh, we didn't really expect you. <laughs> Get dressed and come into the living room. Lord, how embarrassing. Yeah, but it's great, right? Now we don't really have to explain anything. Good morning, ma'am. Hello, is Sasha home? I'm terribly sorry for the early hour, but I have a train later and I got lost. Excuse me, who are you? Uh, I didn't introduce myself. I'm, I'm Dennis, uh, Sasha's fiance. Sasha, what are you doing? Please, can you just calm down? Okay, please, come here. Come, no, come leave here. me oh, alone. Oh, fine, I'll take Sasha along with me later anyway. Of course, take her. <gasps> oh, I should have probably knocked, Mom, sorry. what are you doing? Is this a public street? Who is this? Who the heck are you, man? This is Dennis. Apparently, Sasha's fiance. You planned to cross out days until I got back, didn't you? So you decided to cross me out. Well done. I'll go. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Wait. Dennis, please wait! Dennis! Dennis, do you hear? Dennis, dear! Dennis, wait, I'm begging you! Dennis, I was waiting for you! Believe me, Dennis! Dennis, come back! Dennis! Dennis, please! Please, no, please. 
watch out! A reminder you have a fiancé. Start thinking straight already. Mm-hmm. And this one has a fiancé who has caught you. And by the way, your beloved still cares. Did you see how she rushed after him? All right. I don't have time to teach you reason. Just don't forget who feeds you and who <laughs> supports you. Take your leg off there. I'm going to my room. Make me some tea, uh. please. Sasha, could we talk to you, please? Igor, do you not want to say anything to your girlfriend? All right, then I'll talk to her. Sasha, tell me what that was all about. Why have you returned back into our lives? You jumped into bed with my son. You didn't manage to settle better somewhere else? Why are you saying this? It's not like that. Igor... What do you mean? And who gave you permission to go through my things? How dare you? They were from Igor. As an engagement gift. <laughs> what gift? Stop lying. Igor, did you give her my earrings? Who exactly are you engaged with, darling? I think you're confused with your other bows. Get out of my house. I didn't expect that from you. You said that you didn't... that you didn't have anyone and... and you ran after him like, forgive me, forgive me. Very nice. Nah, well, I mean, I can understand it. You're all alike, all of you. You came from a small town. You needed money, right? Don't you? I wanted to get warm next to you. I thought you'd fallen in love. Well, I think. You just jumped into my bed because I promised to marry you. And by the way, it worked wonders. Why didn't you say goodbye? Listen, Andre, I... Yeah. I didn't expect this of my old friend's daughter. Igor has a fiancé, but you started a love affair with him. I know, Andre, but you should yes, understand. Yes, I understand. I understand that you needed money. Moscow is an expensive city. Well, you should have asked. Here, take it. Listen, Andre. <sighs> ah. All right. I don't think she'll ever come back. I've seen her off pretty well. Well, that's nice. Let's have breakfast and discuss family matters. Igor, the plan is like this. Uh, you buy some flowers, make up the most romantic words, and go to Polina. Yes, it's best to do that now. Or even better, take my earrings. Polina will like these antiques very much. I'm sick of both of you, you know? You decide how I live, what I should be doing, what I should say, what I should eat. Maybe I love Sasha, huh? Stop the hysterical fit, Greenhorn. Who are you to me? You're nobody. Do you understand that? You're a stranger to me. And you've been playing a loving dad this whole time. 
And all you've been doing is harassing me all my life because you don't love me. Igor, stop. I mean, we had some plans. Mom, I'm sorry. I forgot about the plans. God, I always forget about the plans. I list it all the top and I nod like a bobblehead. Yes, we have plans, plans. Or maybe I have different plans. Maybe I don't give a damn about your plans, huh? Maybe I don't give a damn about the wedding and the job. You know, Mom, I hate you more than anyone else. And you know why? Because you did this. You brought this man into our family. And now he decides how I should be living my life. I forgot. Watch this. <gasps> oh! Igor! Go oh. Petite, Mom. Oh! Igor! <gasps> Sanyak, hello, the usual for me. Dennis, is that you? No, not me. Come on, I can see that it's you. Are you in the army or what? Not in the army, in the navy. I remember how great you looked in the 10th grade when our friends made you drunk with all that vodka. I'm Lena Timurazeva from the other class, you remember? Would you like some? No, why drink all these chemicals? Hey, do you wanna go to my place? I have home distilled vodka made by my uncle and normal homemade food. We can sit and catch up. Come on, it'll be fun. Let's go then. Okay, just give this back. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Thanks a lot. Well, and then I realized that I want a haircut just like Manelli had. You wake up, you shake your head, and then that's all. <gasps> Are you crazy? I'm I so asked sorry. for a haircut. I didn't ask for an ear cut. What's going on here? Go take your break. I could fire you and blacklist you for what you did here. Okay, calm down. Easy, easy. I was twisting around in all directions to see the haircut better. <sighs> Oh, it's nothing. And I have an excellent coagulation, so everything is fine. Thanks for that. What happened? But don't lie. I've just saved your career. It's bad. I don't want to keep on living. Oh, listen to me. You and I are going to go out right now. Help me. We will drink brandy. And you are going to tell me everything, hmm? Don't worry, I'll arrange it with your boss. What about the haircut? What haircut when a life is falling apart? Hmm, yeah. Though it looks quite interesting. I love everything non-standard. We'll do Manelli next time. I'll go talk to her now. Meet me at the front door. Sasha, darling, hello. Stop here for a minute. I need to arrange your schedule. Hi, you look really beautiful today. Oh, thank today. you. It's a new mask that I got from the cosmetology really? department. Really? And they're experimenting on me. <laughs> so what's the schedule? Uh, so look, Sasha, you have a full booking as usual. Now, a couple more say it's a matter of life and death, okay? So... Well, I haven't mastered doing simultaneous haircuts quite yet. I hear that, girl. Everyone will be invited on a first-come, first-served basis. By the way, there's already a customer waiting Thank for you. you. Yes, Queen. Good morning. Sorry I'm late getting to you. Good morning, Sasha. I'm sorry I'm early. But I have a good reason. <clears throat> it's because I take my daughter to school next door. A daughter? And what's her name? It's Tanya. A nice name. So tell me, what will we do? The usual? Yes, as always. All right. Mm. 
Stop this already. It's sickening to look at you. So don't look at me. I can't look away from you now. I promised your mother. Uh -huh. When she went to the hospital with a stroke because of you, you know. You know, I feel sorry for you, man. Mom drove you into the corner, huh? Take pity on yourself, drunkard. <laughs> you lost the job, the fiancé ran away. Well, look at yourself. You're just a lousy scum. Every day I look in the mirror and see your reflection looking back at me, and you know what? My... My drunken face is your reflection. <laughs> oh, 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 what a metaphor. It's your fault you got this face, not mine. It's all your fault. It's not mine, none of it. None of it. Change the record. It's the same every day. I'm sick of it. You kicked out, you know, my Sasha. It was the right thing to do. She pretended to be an innocent lamb. She ruined the whole family. Don't be so dramatic. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Mommy's fine now. She's like, like in a spa over there having a rest. And... <gasps> Let's go see your mother. Get ready. It's hard, of course. But on the other hand, how can I tell her? I can't tell her that her mom's gone forever. <clears throat> well, I can't tell her that she's dead. But Tanya is a really smart girl. At Christmas, she, she busted Santa Claus immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop chatting for some reason. I usually don't let anyone in my personal life. But with you, it's, it's just different, I guess. Don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> well, since I'm so brave today, I should brave it to the end, right? Sasha. Why don't you and I have a cup of coffee, huh? Go out somewhere together. I am really busy. I have absolutely no time. <laughs> All right. Well, it's a whole new look, right? <laughs> See you next time. <clears throat> Take care, then. What shelves? Everything will be dusty. For now, they're not getting dusty. OK, but let's just buy a closed bookcase. Yum, Slavic. You have to eat something. You're not gonna eat, are you? <laughs> eat, or should I throw it all away again? Lena, please, he doesn't want to eat. You know him a lot, what he wants, what he doesn't, some defender. Lena, by Aren't the way, you? don't forget to go to the market. You'll take a sack of potatoes. I've agreed on a lower price. Denik, will you take me there? Dennis. Lena, how many times have I asked you? Denik is a name for a dog. Mm, you're in a bad mood again. Please stop it. I'll take you wherever you need. That mug is going to fall apart in your hands. Why do you like it so much, huh? I've given you both big and small ones with elephants and flowers, and you're just always holding on to this one. Be happy. Dennis is a one-woman man. I'll go wash it. Eat, I said! Now! Sergey. Sasha. Well, since you wouldn't have coffee with me, you want to marry me instead? <sighs> Let's start with the coffee. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. The third stroke in two years, and now a brainstem stroke. It's usually the last one. It doesn't look good for her. How much time does she have? 
How much time do I have to say goodbye? Every hour could be the last. Soon you'll open your eyes. And then you'll talk. And then you'll start walking. Why walking? Running. We'll go to Paris. You'll buy everything you want. Even if you don't need it, I... I... I won't say a word. I'll buy you a wardrobe. A new wardrobe for all those outfits and trinkets. Just hold on. Just hold on. Please, my love. Hold on. Katya. Mr. Azorsky, good evening. Good evening. Have you seen my son? Ah, Igor. Yeah. We put him in the medical treatment room. He felt sick. No. Ah, Let go of me. to me. No. No. Ah. No. Ah. You're drinking pure alcohol. No. What's wrong with you? Next you'll be drinking antifreeze. Huh? You don't understand a thing about medicine. It's the most pure product. You go say goodbye to your mother. Just eat something to disguise your spell. I've already said goodbye. In absentia. Go, bastard! Go! Scum! Go. Go ahead. Go in there. Get in there. Thank you very much, yes. I'd like two more like this one, please. Thanks. And this Hulk says... So? ...that I order ten bottles of expensive champagne to the room. And how did you get out of it? Tanya helped out. She came up so brave and says, Sir, actually, my dad and I don't drink anything. <laughs> <laughs> and he left me alone. Yeah. A good girl, yeah. huh? Uh, well, we certainly didn't say it was Tanya who played with the phone, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> You're hooligans, it turns out. Yes, we are. <clears throat> oh, <sighs> thank you. That's all I can't eat anymore. As my beloved daughter says, there's not such a thing as too many cakes. Eat up. Does she have Just a like sweet me. tooth? Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Very appetizing. Now I want some too. Well. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. oh, well, thank you, dear. I look about seven years younger. Well, no, ten. It's a pleasure to work with you. My hands create on their own. We've exchanged compliments. Now tell me, where did you get this beautiful bouquet? It's a gift from Sergei. Oh, Sergei? Who is this Sergei? Sergei, my regular customer. You must have seen him here. It's so serious and... and reserved. Sergei? Yes. He asked me to marry him. So what? If he asks, you should say yes. Why not? I don't love him. So tell me, did love bring you a lot of happiness in your life? Sergei says the same thing. A smart boy, this Sergei, in spite of being a man. He's a good man. He has an amazing daughter, Tanya. He talks about her all the time. I want to have a normal family, to do everything together and to be able to forget the past. Oh. Listen to me. You're never going to forget your past and it's not going anywhere from you. All you need now is to finally start living a normal life. Though, 
When a husband has a child, there can be problems when you want children of your own. Well, I don't think about that yet. Oh, that's right. Don't think about it. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, this is Tanya, my daughter. Tanya, this is Sasha. I've told you a lot about her. Remember? Hello, Sasha. Hello. <laughs> well, the car is ready. Please get in. Sasha, sit here with me. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Turtle, we call it Nano Squirrel. <laughs> oh, oh. Ah, be careful! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Enough. We need a break. Let's get up. Oh, careful. Be careful. All right. <laughs> Take your time. Come on. I'll be waiting over there. Okay. <laughs> Sasha, will you always be coming to the ice rink with us? Well, if you invite me. I will. It's fun to be with you. Dad and I are usually on our own, but it's even cooler with some company. Can I ask you something else now, please? Sure, of course. My friend hasn't been talking to me for two days, and I have no idea why. What kind of friend? Well, he's from a different class. I talk with him a lot during breaks, but now I can't... Well, I can't ask Dad these kinds of questions. When he hears the word boy, he gets so scared. You're like a girlfriend, only a bit older. It's great! <laughs> it's great, yes. Let's go. <laughs> Sasha, of course I promised. But my proposal, it... It remains in force. And Tanya likes you. She likes you very much. Sasha. What happened to you? <laughs> My sister. She would have been like Tanya now. She would go skating, too. And my life would be completely different. Tell me now. Go ahead. I'm a very good listener. Slavic, don't hit the cars. You'll break them. Oh, we'll just buy a new one. Why should we? Well, because it's a special day. My husband and I happen to be going to visit our friends, finally. I've started doubting whether I'm married to begin with, you know? You should be wondering why your husband comes home so late from work. Then visit your friends with him. Do you really think that he has somebody? Who needs him except me, an idiot? Sanya, hello. Listen, you better send uh, Kobotov's team to the pink house. Yes, they need cladding there. Okay, and send Vasilich to work with them. Yeah, right. Goodbye. I'm sorry, it was an important call. Yeah, that's okay. Work is work. So now, you've built such a great house for my friend to last for the ages, and it didn't get greedy, and it didn't steal money. Excuse me speaking so straight to you and in such a familiar way. Oh, no, it's okay. What would you like? You want a house, too? Of course, a house strong. Well, but without these stupid modern frills, the old-fashioned way. Well, I'm certainly not a millionaire, but I can pay you. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll do it. We're actually ordering some excellent wood right now, and, uh, mm -hmm. like you say, to last for ages. Mm -hmm. 
By the way, I've seen you somewhere. You were, uh... You were investigating the Korniev's case, the ones who burned in their house, right? Mm, I was trying to remember where I saw you, and you were friends with this girl who remained alive, is that right? I, uh... Yeah, 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 of course, it was a bad case. It was an unsolved one. Only ashes left from two grown adults. Only two? But I thought that Sasha's sister was there as well. A small girl. She died too, right? Look, it was a long time ago. I don't remember. Let's talk about the house. What kind of wood is it? Mm-hmm. Mm, it's very good. And the reports. They must be on my desk by Monday. No formal notes, dear friends, but reports. Now, now let's get back to work at our own desk, please. I have an important event tonight. Sergey. Hmm? What time should I be there? Well, did you get the invitation? Yes. It's written there. The guests are expected at 8 p.m. Sergey, why the grand style? Please, tell me like a friend. What time to come, less formally? Well, when the CEO comes, he'll come along with his wife. Look, you might think that you have the anniversary with the CEO. <laughs> Almost. I have a long-standing affair with him. <laughs> a career affair. I see. <laughs> I struggle to get here. This position is what I wanted, and I got it. The price is your freedom. Ivan, you know very well that in such corporations like ours, high positions are only for family. And Sasha is perfect for this role. Okay. See you later. See you. <clears throat> See you. <sighs> Sasha, maybe it's better without these pink hair grips, huh? Believe me, they will add some charm. Well, I can do without charm. It's your anniversary after all. Five years isn't a joke. 25 years isn't a joke. Well, they're still ahead. And now you should go to the spa, buy shoes, a dress. <laughs> Dad's arranging such a grandiose party. I hate those big parties. Noise, fuss, crowds. So many people you're seeing for the first time in your life. Well, why are you acting like this? Drop the attitude. Being my mom, you should teach me all sorts of refined manners. And there, we'll have just what we need. A fancy party. My best party is you and your papa. Well, one more word and I'll put pink hair grips everywhere on your head. Do you like it? It's really cool. Lena. Hello. Hello, cutie. Where are you? I'm ready to go. The Gordetskis are waiting for us. Yeah. Look, Lena, I'm stuck here on the site, and I don't think I... I don't think I can get there too quickly. Just go on without me. You know what? I knew that. I knew that we would not work out together. Yes. To hell with you. Sasha, you were great today at the party. I could tell that the CEO really liked you. Everything went very well. I'm glad. But we didn't spend a minute together on our anniversary. Don't be upset. I'll take a vacation real soon. 
Then we'll go somewhere for a week. We'll relax. Or so? Why are you so sad? Sasha, everything is good. We have trips coming up, social events. What does my lovely lady want? I'll make any wish come true. You know what I want. Sex with your beloved husband. I want a baby. The victim doesn't have a face, but one huge bruise. Even, and he's unconscious. I don't know what will happen now. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. The victim will get a separate ward, good, good doctors. Family will get compensation. And you'll get a big bonus. Oh, dead eye! <laughs> Look, guys, it was nice to meet you, but I must get going now. Look, let's go to a cafe. I'm starving, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You're not going to a cafe now. You're going straight to the clinic, where you'll be eating steamed meat patties and drinking filtered water. Why not to jail, then? You know I would be happy to do that. Oh, but you can't. Uh-huh, they'll spank you at your work. So let me get back in there, huh? And I'll help you lose your entire career. Why do you hate me so much? Because of Sasha. Your Sasha is a witch. She destroyed the family. Move out. Sergey, this moment is the perfect time for me. If we, if we don't use contraceptives, then we can. Sasha. Well, you promised that we'd talk about this. Sergey, I really want a child. What's wrong with that? Yeah, it's wonderful. I really want a child too. But... Well, we already have Tanya. She's still young. For her, it can be a global catastrophe. Jealousy, tears. A baby's not a bad thing. And Tanya is a wonderful girl. She'll be happy. I just can't risk it. I don't know how she'll react to it. I really love my daughter, Sasha. And I love her very much. Sasha. I have a lot of work right now. It's an incredibly fruitful base for a career breakthrough right now. A large family means huge expenses, lack of free time. I promise you, listen to me. Give me a year or two, and we'll have a big and beautiful family. Okay. Don't be angry. <coughs> Beauty, you have a cough again? We've already spent a fortune on your medicines. And for what? Because you go around these development sites all alone, and what for, huh? What for? Tell me. <coughs> well, this is my job. Your job is to be a boss. And you, as a simple manual worker, go around yourself <coughs> instead of sitting in the office. Or at home. We don't see you day or night. We didn't even get to go to the Korpetsky's party. Any other woman would have just... I'm used to controlling everything myself. Then control your family. Yeah, it'd be different if you earned a lot. But you don't. You earn nothing. 